Historic Archer County Jail is now up for sale. The old building used to be a museum, and it is filled with artifacts dating back at least a century. Pretty cool. Lauren yeah. Linville was in Archer City today. So, Lauren, I understand there's no listing price right now. Yeah, Melanie, they're asking potential buyers to make offers of a minimum $5,000. Commissioner's Court will ultimately decide who gets the building and every bit of history it contains. This 110-year-old building that used to house Archer County inmates, now home to thousands of historical artifacts, is up for sale. I've grown up with this building in place, you know, many years before I was born, so it's, it's neat to be a part of history changing hands. It served as Archer County Jail from 1910 until 1974. The building eventually became a museum full of items from historian Jack Lofton. The county decided three years ago to sell the building along with everything inside and out. We um, closed this building a couple of years ago after Jack Lofton's death. Then we have tried to dis uh, disperse the donated items in here, the loaned items, we tried to get those to the rightful owners. County Judge Randy Jackson says this decision in part is because of the county's lack of time and money for upkeep and restoration. Judge Jackson called me and at first I was like, oh cool, and then I thought, oh, I'm sad, you know, but still, and I think that's been everybody's reaction. They really care about the, the building and want to see it preserved and continue as a museum and it's just a part of everybody. Though there's a $5,000 minimum offer, it's not a decision that will be taken lightly. Commissioner's Court has the right to refuse any and all bids, so we don't want someone that's going to come in here and try to uh, scrape the goods out of here and leave, leave a shell. We, we hope that we have a buyer that comes in that has the intent to restore it and for everything to remain right here. A building on North Sycamore that holds over a century of treasures. Historic, one-of-a-kind items, these longtime Archer County residents hope the new owners treasure as well. Oswald says she's already had close to 20 potential buyers contact her. Those interested are encouraged to fill out an intent form that you can find on our website before an open house January 19th. I hope somebody comes forward who loves that building and loves everything in it and around it and just saves it all. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, Lauren, thanks.